A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakir Palace today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Issam Khalaf, and a number of ministry officials. Following a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, His Majesty the King delivered a speech in which he expressed pressure at meeting the audience in light of the quality مختلف ألوانها وغرابي بسود ومن الناس والدواب والأنعام مختلف ألوانه كذلك إنما يخشى الله من عباده العلماء إن الله عزيز غفور إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور صدق الله العظيم Following the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, His Majesty the King delivered a speech in which he expressed pressure at meeting the audience in light of the quality, economic and urban development that is rapidly taking place in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He thanked the Ministry for the tremendous efforts exerted in establishing projects that support sustainable development and establish infrastructure meeting the best international standards. His Majesty noted the evolution of municipal work in Bahrain since the establishment of the municipality in Manama around 100 years ago, which activated the first legal system for municipalities in the Arab region. He said the advanced level of comprehensive national development must be maintained in line with the Ministry's important responsibility as a services ministry to prioritize the ongoing development of infrastructure networks and public services in line with the urban investment and industrial growth across the country, whilst considering agricultural requirements the preservation of natural resources and environmental protection. His Majesty commended the renewable solutions that the Ministry provides across all of its fields of work in service of the people. 
He also thanked the presidents and members of the municipal councils for their efforts and joint cooperation with the ministry. He added that he is looking forward to setting a special day to mark the anniversary of the start of municipal work in the Kingdom of Bahrain in two years' time. His Majesty the King concluded by reiterating his thanks and appreciation of all achievements which are keenly noticed and reflected in the loyalty of the people of Bahrain towards their homeland as well as in their pride in national service and national heritage. وزير الأشغال وشؤون البلديات والتخطيط العبراني بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي Then the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Issam Khalaf, delivered a speech in which he thanked His Majesty the King for his constant support to the Ministry and also appreciated his reception. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's continuous development in various fields, including infrastructure upgrades to reinforce urbanisation. He noted the leap in infrastructure projects, such as the construction of sewage systems and strategic road networks involving several flyovers and tunnels across the country. He outlined a number of the main developmental projects that have been completed to facilitate traffic flow, positively impacting commercial services and transportation networks. He expressed the Ministry's pride in landmarks such as Bahrain National Theatre and the night lighting project at Bahrain International Circuit, as well as for the schools, health and social centres, and most recently the family courts building, that have been constructed under the reign of His Majesty. Minister Khalaf said the Ministry has also completed the development of 200 parks, and is currently working on waterfront developments, so as to provide necessary areas for various entertainment activities. He also confirmed the Ministry's support of fishermen by upgrading marine fishing ports in addition to encouraging alternatives such as fish farming and partnership with the private sector. He thanked His Majesty the King again for his continuous support, which has led to the many accomplishments that the Ministry has been able to complete. He also thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their directives that aim to better serve the people of Bahrain. <laughs> أشواطا من الإنجاز في مجالات الطرق وشبكات الصرف الصحي ومشاريع البناء الاستراتيجية حيث قامت الوزارة بتطوير شبكة الطرق الاستراتيجية وإنشاء عدد من الجسور والأنفاق منها على سبيل المثال للحصر أنفاق مدينة حمد ميناء سلمان تقاطع أم الحصم جسور مدينة عيسى الزلاق وجسر سترة وجسر المجامة الشمال كمال تم تطوير شارع الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان وتحرير الحركة المرورية على كافة التقاطعات دون توقف ليصبح شريانا حيويا للحركة المرورية وحركة نقل البضائع وساهم إيجابا في تطوير النقل التجاري والخدمي والسياحي بين البحرين والمملكة العربية السعودية الشقيقة وفي مجال مشاريع البناء والمشاريع الاستراتيجية فأن الوزارة تفخر بتنفيذ عدد من المباني الحكومية إذ نفذت في الفترة السابقة عددا من تلك المشاريع من ضمنها إنشاء مسرح البحرين الوطني الذي تفضلتم جلالتكم بافتتاحه في 12 نوفمبر 2012 ومشروع الإضاءة الليلية لحلبة البحرين الدولية بجانب مشاريع البناء وإنشاء عدد من المدارس النموذجية والمراكز الصحية والاجتماعية ومشروع مبنى محاكم الأسرة مؤخرا صاحب الجلالة لقد سعت الوزارة وبالتنسيق مع المجالس البلدية شركائنا في العمل إلى الارتقاء بالخدمات التي تقدمها من خلال الاهتمام بكافة المدن والقرى ونفذت خلال دورة الميزانية الماضية على سبيل المثال مشاريع لرصف الطرق الترابية وتعبيد نحو 60 كيلومترا معززة بشبكات تصريف للأمطار والإنارة استفاد منها ما يزيد عن 15 ألف عقار في مختلف مناطق المملكة وفي سياق متصل حافظت الوزارة على نسبة 95% للمستفيدين من خدمات الصرف الصحي من مواطنين ومقيمين برغم تواصل النمو السكاني والعمراني
كما تم افتتاح محطة المحرك للصرف الصحي بالشراكة مع القطاع الخاص وهي تعد أحد أهم مشاريع البنى التحتية الاستراتيجية بمحافظة المحرق كما تستمر الوزارة بتنفيذ مشاريع تطوير خدمة الصرف الصحي والمحافظة على مستوى الخدمة المتقدم بها ولتحقيق مبدأ الاستدامة وهو أحد ركائز الرؤية الاقتصادية لعام 2030 فأن الوزارة انطلقت في هذا المجال من خلال المخطط الهيكلي لمملكة البحرين حيث قمتم جلالتكم بإصدار المرسوم الملكي السامي رقم 36 لعام 2016 لتحديث هذا المخطط الهادف إلى ضبط عملية تحديد استخدامات الأراضي بما يتمشى مع متطلبات التنمية في المجالات السكنية والصناعية والاستثمارية وغيرها ومؤخرا وفي ضوء المرسوم الملكي السامي بإنشاء اللجنة العليا للتخطيط العمراني برئاسة صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد الأمين تم استحداث جهاز تنفيذي جديد متمثل في هيئة التخطيط والتطوير العمراني للنهوض بالعمل التخطيطي بما يواكب احتياجات التنمية صاحب الجلالة على صعيد النمو العمراني جاء إنشاء المركز البلدي الشامل ليكون نواة للتنمية العمرانية والاقتصادية حيث أسهم المركز في دعم عجلة التنمية من خلال الإجراءات الهادفة لإصدار الرخص المختلفة كما حقق في العام الماضي تطوراً متميزاً بارتفاع عدد تراخيص البناء للفترة من يناير إلى سبتمبر 2016 إلى 682 رخصة بناء مقارنة ب 482 رخصة لنفس الفترة من العام 2015 كما زادت مساحة البناء لتلك المشاريع من مليون وثمانمائة ألف متر مربع إلى أربعة ملايين وسبعمائة ألف متر مربع كما زادت كلفة تلك المشاريع من أربعمائة وتسعة وثمانين مليون دينار إلى مليار ومائتين وخمسة وتسعين مليون دينار وهو ما يعكس ثقة المستثمرين وازدهار النهضة العمرانية في البلاد وعلى صعيد الخدمات البلدية فقد قامت شؤون البلديات بالوزارة وبالتنسيق الكامل مع المجالس البلدية بإنشاء ما يزيد عن 200 حديقة ومنتزه وساحل وممشى ومضمار في مختلف مناطق المملكة حيث تعتبر هذه المواقع متنفسا للمواطنين والمقيمين وتسهم في تعزيز التوازن البيئي والبيولوجي وأسهمت في رفع رصيد المملكة من الرقعة الخضراء وفيما يتعلق بالواجهات البحرية فأن الوزارة ماضية في العمل ضمن توجيهات اللجنة العليا للتخطيط في توفير تلك الواجهات والمساحات اللازمة لممارسة الأنشطة الترفيهية المختلفة وفي مجال الثروة البحرية عملت الوزارة على تنمية هذا القطاع من خلال دعم الصيادين وإنشاء وتطوير عدد من مرافق الصيد البحري بالإضافة إلى تشجيع البدائل الهادفة إلى تنمية الثروة البحرية كالأرياف الصناعية والاستزراع السمكي وتشجيع الشراكة مع القطاع الخاص ومن جانب آخر تعتبر الزراعة أحد ركائز التنمية المستدامة وعاملا هاما في تحقيق الأمن الغذائي النسبي حيث تعمل الوزارة على حماية موروث البحرين من المحاصيل الزراعية والخضروات والنخيل عبر إطلاق مبادرات إكثار النخيل ونقل الفسائل وزراعتها بالأنسجة ومكافحة سوسة النخيل إن الحديث لا يطول يا صاحب الجلالة حين التطرق لمجمل الإنجازات التي حققتها الوزارة في ظل عهدكم الزاهر كونها واحدة من الوزارات الخدمية متطلعين إلى أن نظفر دائما وسخي, وسخي عطاء ودعم جلالتكم لما فيه خير وتقدم الوطن ورقيه في ظل توجيهات 
صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس الوزراء الموقر وصاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد الأمين وختاما تقبلوا جلالتكم عظيم الشكر والعرفان سائلين المولى القدير أن يحفظكم ويحفظ مملكتنا الحبيبة ويسدد على طريق الخير خطاكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته After that, His Majesty the King greeted the audience.
Then His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honour of the staff of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom, William Roebuck, who presented to His Majesty the outgoing commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and U.S. Fifth Fleet Admiral Kevin M. Donegan upon the completion of his work term, and introduced to His Majesty the new commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and U.S. Fifth Fleet Admiral John Aquilino. His Majesty the King hailed the cooperation and historic relations between the Kingdom and the United States and their ongoing development in many fields, especially the military and defence sectors. He affirmed that Bahraini-US relations have been built on mutual respect, trust and coordination, which benefits the two countries and their peoples. His Majesty commended the contributions of Admiral Donegan to enhancing bilateral cooperation, particularly in military and defence matters, and wished Admiral Aquilino a success in carrying out his, the duties of his new position. In appreciation of Admiral Dunnigan's efforts, His Majesty the King granted him the Bahrain Medal of the First Class. His Majesty noted the role of the American administration in cooperating with allies and friends to consolidate security and stability in the region and address global peace issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Rifa'a Palace the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom, William Roebuck, and the outgoing commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and U.S. Fifth Fleet, Admiral Kevin M. Donegan, on the occasion of the completion of his work term, who presented to His Royal Highness the new commander of the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and Fifth Fleet, Admiral John Aquilino. His Royal Highness hailed the historic relations and cooperation between the Kingdom and the United States and their development in many fields, especially the military and defence fields. The Prime Minister noted the contributions of Admiral Dunnigan to enhancing bilateral cooperation, congratulating Admiral Aquilino on his new appointment and wishing him success in carrying out the duties of his new position. His Royal Highness affirmed the necessity of enhancing international cooperation to achieve global peace and stability. The Prime Minister stressed his keenness on providing a better future in the region, emphasising the importance of Bahraini-US relations, which are based on mutual respect and cooperation. His Royal Highness reviewed with the U.S. Naval Forces Commander the current regional situation and the efforts exerted to enhance security and stability. For his part, the U.S. Naval Forces Commander commended the Bahraini government's keenness on enhancing bilateral cooperation. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Exhibition of Women, as seen by Bahraini women artists, held at the UNESCO headquarters in the French capital, Paris. The inauguration ceremony was attended by UNESCO's Director General Irina Bokova and a number of diplomats, media personnel and experts. The exhibition was organised by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Curator Louise Amélie Barbier sees the exhibition as an opportunity to show an unfamiliar artistic scene to the French public, as well as to the artistic and cultural world. The exhibition features the works of a group of five women artists with a range of styles, schools and mediums, selected as representatives of the Bahraini art scene, coming from different generations and covering different topics through photography, paintings and juxtaposed images. During her tour through the exhibition, Her Royal Highness Princess Bicha praised Bahraini women's contributions to the field of art, and their relentless efforts to promote the artistic movement in the Kingdom by depicting Bahrain's cultural heritage. 
She understood the importance, she underscored the importance of having Bahraini exhibitions abroad in shedding light on the stages of development and construction witnessed in the kingdom through their work that expresses heritage and cultural openness while preserving the uniqueness of the Bahraini Art School. On the sidelines of the event, Her Royal Highness met with the UNESCO Director General and during their meeting, Her Royal Highness reviewed the achievements that Bahraini women under the reform project of His Majesty the King have achieved and the Kingdom's efforts in supporting women at all levels, especially in the educational and cultural fields, through encouraging them to showcase their work inside the country and abroad. For her part, the UNESCO Director General lauded Bahrain's achievement in supporting and empowering women at all levels, especially the efforts exerted by the Supreme Council for Women under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Abicha. She also expressed UNESCO's keenness on exchanging expertise in all fields of mutual concern. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Ibrahim al Mullah, affirmed the desire to further activate economic cooperation and support bilateral agreements between the two countries of Bahrain and South Korea. He also affirmed the importance of strengthening joint parliamentary cooperation, welcoming the exchange of parliamentary visits between friendship committees, coordinate positions in Asian and international parliamentary forums and meetings. Al Mullah added that he's looking forward to further cooperation in parliamentary and legislative active aspects. During the session of parliamentary discussions held today at the South Korean capital of Seoul, the Speaker of the National Assembly of South Korea, Chung Se Kyung, expressed his appreciation and gratitude for Bahrain's supportive stances of his country against terrorist threats in all international forums. He went on to assert that the Kingdom of Bahrain has been and shall remain an important economic partner. He also thanked His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa for his support to Korea, affirming the importance of exchanging visits and activating mutual friendship committees, as well as opening new economic channels with major Korean companies.